Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to inspire you to make super delicious waffles. They're crispy on the outside but soft on the inside. You guys will love them. So let's get started. For the waffle batter, we need egg yolks, egg whites, buttermilk, butter, olive oil, flour, salt, vanilla extract, baking powder together with baking soda and sugar. First, in a bowl, we mix the dry ingredients, the flour which is sifted, and the baking powder which I already mixed with the baking soda, and the salt. We mix them using a whisk until well combined and we set the bowl aside. Then we put the egg yolks in the same bowl with the buttermilk. In another bowl we add the egg whites and we start whipping them. I just want to mention that all ingredients are at room temperature. We add the vanilla extract to the buttermilk and we mix them with a whisk. We want to mix the wet ingredients in a bowl and the dry ingredients in another and in the end we combine them. But by whipping the egg whites separate, we increase the volume of the batter and the waffles turn fluffier. Once there is light foam, we start adding the sugar gradually while we continue to whip. And we whip until we get soft but stable peaks. Next, we melt the butter to 50 degrees Celsius. While the butter is melting, we start adding the dry ingredients into the wet mixture. And we mix using a whisk to combine and get a smooth mixture. We take the melted butter and we pour it into a bigger bowl and we add the olive oil too and we mix them. Then we add a third of the batter and we mix them well. And once the butter and oil are well incorporated, We add the mixture back into the batter and we mix well. We already got a nice fluffy batter. Now it's a good time to heat the waffle maker and we also start to add the meringue to the batter. We do so gradually. We fold it in gently into the batter. After adding all the meringue, we get a beautiful aerated batter and we are ready to cook the waffles. I use a measuring cup to portion the batter. Approximately one cup of batter makes one waffle. So I pour a cup of the batter into the hot waffle maker and I spread it a little bit with the help of the cup and I let it cook till golden brown. I like mine well done, so I let them cook extra time. Look at that, so delicious! They turn crispy on the outside but still soft on the inside. It smells amazing, yummy! This recipe makes 4 yummy waffles. The best thing about these waffles is that if you don't eat them right away, you can freeze them and reheat them whenever you want. They are best reheated in a toaster or in the oven. And the waffles are ready to be served. And I like mine with fresh berries, I just love berries. And I add blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. 
and a swirl of chantilly cream and some strawberries on top and dust it with powdered sugar or you can serve them with butter and syrup or any toppings you like if you would like to try them with my chantilly cream make sure you are subscribed to my channel ASMR Anka's Kitchen because I will post there the video on how to make this delicious chantilly cream here I have my waffle ready and I'm gonna try it It's so delicious. I love the combination of the waffle, the chantilly cream and the fresh berry. You guys will love it too. Try my recipe and let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. Also, let me know what other recipes you would like to see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do so. Thank you again. I will see you next week with another video. Bye.